Hey, happy Monday, YouTubers. Um, yesterday, we started painting inside the house. You can see behind me where we still need to go over it. And a couple more coats probably on this side. Lots of things happening this week, so it'll probably be a few days compiled into one. The generator noise and the working noise is quite loud, so I'm going to give a bit of a voice over here. This is our post that's been mounted for our spiral staircase to go upstairs to the second level when we put that in in the fall. And Alejandro here is just covering the base plate that we welded and pinned to the foundation and then welded the post too. Rodolfo is building our new stairs for our front deck. It's going to have storage underneath. And Benjamin over here is mixing cement for him fast and furious. And then later today we're going to put the deck support up and all the rebar crisscrosses so we can pour the deck tomorrow. My mother and father have come to visit us in Panama and have a vacation. So while they're pouring the deck today, we are going to take off and do some sightseeing and go to the hot springs inside the volcano just above us up the road. We are here at the hot springs with uh, Greg's parents, checking out everything. It's absolutely beautiful trees and birds and some little different pools full of mineral waters. I am about to go and try the mud facial. So this is the instructions on what to do with it. And there is the, the black mud for sensitive skin or the white slash gray for regular skin. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here goes. Get a mirror here. Much thinner than I thought it would be. Yesterday I was covered in white paint, and today I'm covered in black mud. Give it about 15 minutes and see how it goes. So now we're working on the ceiling and these uh, PVC pieces snap together sort of like a laminate floor only in reverse and then you screw them into the tracks that we've uh, screwed onto the carriolas in this pool. As I said the pieces are 20 feet long and 8 inches wide and they have a lip that snaps together and uh, the big thing is just to cut them to the length as you need them. So coming around to the back of the house now, we've finished painting the exterior at the back on the first floor, which will be visible after the rest of the house is covered in earth and green. And we've installed our ventana, the window at the back. And that little window is into the laundry room, utility room to give us some light inside. So now that the deck is done on the front and it's been poured, it creates the deposito or storage area underneath where we've uh, made this door opening that's going to have a metal door on it. And once everything's dry, we're going to take out the support posts and uh, wooden ceiling, and that'll give us a free empty space underneath. And here is the house again up from the front, now that the deck and uh, area is done. And the dirt you see on the ground there will be piled up against the front of the house and then covered in earth to create a nice gentle slope off the front. And here the stairs are just about finished. The sides and front are repaired, and uh, these wooden planks just sort of help create the top square corner on each step. They're drying right now. And if we take a quick look inside, the painting on the walls, all the coats are finished. The seamless ceiling has now been installed and the electrical outlets are opened up for our headlights in the ceiling. Rodolfo here is finishing uh, laying these beautiful tiles down. They're porcelain, so they stand up to the wear and tear. And if you drop something on it, it breaks the item, not the tile, which is great. And here's the big front deck. I know it's covered in uh, materials and equipment right now. But when you walk out on in the mornings, uh, our trees here will help to block the view of our neighbors so they won't feel like we're spying on them or vice versa. And this will be our beautiful, beautiful view off the front deck every morning when we sip our coffees once the house is done. 
Well, thank you for watching this week's update of Sharon and Greg's tiny house in Panama adventures. And I'd just like to say happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe below and uh, share this with any of your friends you feel that would uh, be interested in the video. To end this week's video update, here's a couple of shots of my beautiful mom and a beautiful tree we found for her here in Panama.